guys sinister back at it with another video as you can tell i am dealing with the cops right now but that is okay because i'm not in trouble as you can tell by the video i'm gonna be showing these guys my police car collection this has been a collection that i've been building over the years um it's not a crazy amount but it's a decent amount we're like maybe gonna show 10 cars here um all from different police agencies and different sizes so when I say scale I am referring to the size of the police car um, I've always had a fascination with police cars since I was a kid so I thought this would be a cool video since I've never done a video on this collection before so let's jump right into it this first one is gonna be a 2010 Chevy Impala and this is gonna be Arizona's uh, Highway Patrol unit the Chevy Apollos are pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've always found them to have such a slick look. is 
place of over 12 years old, I want to say. Or Hobart, but you're looking at either police department with this. 
this paint job. They just got the badge and it says police. Very tiny. And like I was going to say, um, uh, I mentioned it earlier about the black and white paint jobs. This is called an Oreo paint job because it's like an Oreo cookie. You got the darker sides on the outside and the lighter on the inside. So yeah, this is known as the Oreo paint job. It's very iconic with law enforcement. But uh, yeah, two front doors open, which is pretty average for a car of this scale. 124 scale. I love the rear ends. I will say this. The Crown Victoria is the best police cruiser ever. Ever. And I don't think it will ever be dethroned. Uh, they got like the Ford Explorers doing the whole police thing now, but the Crown Victoria can outrun and outlast these Ford Explorers they have today. I hear it from cops all the time that they miss the Ford Cravics. But, uh, yep. Uh, I would like to turn this into, like, an actual digital setup with the light bar that lights up. I will get into that later, but, yeah. Next is a big boy. This is a Chevy Tahoe uh, California Highway Patrol. Um, cool thing about this one is that the hood opens two front doors open and um, the hatch opens as well and then you can see like the it's like a cabinet or something in there like all the police equipment whether it be road flares or whatever they carry back there Close the hatch. You got decals on the back. Close the doors and the hood. You got your bush bar. And a free set of roaming wheels. That was loud. Yep. There you go. This is a... Uh, 124 scale as well. Next is a very old school piece, a lot bigger. So as the numbers go down, the bigger the car. So this is going to be a 118 scale. And it's pretty massive. A 118 scale Chevy Caprice. Um, obviously, this is a Chicago Police unit. Like I said, uh, as the scale numbers go down, the bigger the car gets. So we went in order to 132, 124 scale, not to 118 scale. Chicago Police. This is the Chevy Caprice, as I've mentioned. Um, got your hood that opens. Let you look at all the engine components or whatever. say I do love how wide the doors open on this particular model that is pretty sweet I do have to fix this model up because as you can see I have a mirror right here I don't have a mirror or a door panel so I gotta locate those and uh, get to fixing uh, this bad boy up the wheels do turn but they're a little bit flimsy so I try to take it easy um, I do want to add a digital light bar up top to where it could light up, but we'll do that when the time is right. But yeah, this is a um, Chevy Caprice from uh, Chicago Police. starting to 
Chevy Caprice. Um, they decommissioned these and started selling them off at auctions. Obviously without the lights and stuff, but yeah. Old school CPD layout right here. I do want to get new badges for the doors because these are peeling off, so probably going to make some. Next is the holy grail of my collection, and that is this 118 scale Ford Crown Victoria. Now this is the more updated look of CPD. You got your free roaming tires. These don't really spin. These are like very sturdy. Uh, the front do turn, but like I said, they don't turn that much. So I like to just take it easy with them. Uh, the hood does open. Along with the two front doors. The back doors as well. And the trunk, which is very neat. This is what I'm talking about. You know, that's super neat. And what else is neat is... Uh, how I've mentioned um, adding like lights to like the light bars and stuff. Well, this car so happens to have that. This was a nice little project uh, that, you know, worked out very well. And it is my holy grail of my police car collection. There's the back. So you get all lights all the way around. You know, you don't find anything like this unless you do it yourself. Or if you um, uh, have someone that does it for you. But, uh, yeah, I like this because the lights still stay intact with uh, the door open. Light stays on. There is a siren, but I won't be turning it on because it is too loud for an ASMR video. But uh, there it is. My police car collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know which police car was your favorite. Uh, are you fascinated with police cars or what do you collect? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I'm so glad I did this video. But, uh, yep. I want to know what you collect. Let's get nerdy. So, yeah. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.